Hi guys, Dr. Tati here and welcome back to Doctors Gaming. I'm just making sure that I'm actually streaming. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, welcome back to Doctors Gaming and welcome to Dining with Strahd, our Monday Curse of Strahd session with a bunch of short people. We have the dwarves, the gnomes and the ujars, the kobolds to deal with today. Um, they are in Barovia trying to figure out the mystery of... Uh, the demiplane that they find themselves in, they were brought in here by an illustrious vampire known as Strahd von Zarovich. They don't know that yet, but they're going to find out eventually. But right now they are in the town of Lackey, and they have to deal with the strangeness that is that town. Now, today was difficult for me to prepare because I'm not sure what the players want to do today. I have given them a lot of hooks and I've given them a lot of things to do. They're trying to get some money. It's going to be difficult for them to get the money they need. But perhaps when they start going into quests, it should work. So let's get straight into it. Find out from the players what is going on. Oh, I'm apparently uh, privy to to his <laughs> his um, his food. Great him into oh that's great <laughs> people started clapping and stuff also it was funny welcome Ooh, no. oh hi <laughs> did, did you get laid back that's the more important question did uh, you get no <laughs> what did my i just join uh, no, i was talking about Press my F fire main for character. not getting laid in chat guys no please no if uh, <laughs> <F a buck. laughs> he's taking things slow <laughs> good that sounds better to me hmm all right, welcome to Barovia, foolish mortals. Barovia. Barovia. A <laughs> one. Welcome to Barovia. Barovia. Two dead adventurers. So Barovia, where people fuck in their sleep. Are you are you telling me that that I have to straight make Strahd a a gnome too? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Yes. <laughs> No, don't. No, please, I'm not going to make him strong. No, no, no. He's and I'm going to fuck bitches. <laughs> All right, he so. He might team up with him if he wants. <laughs> Who knows? Out, Small people uh, against everyone else. Strahd's secret is that he's actually another short guy. Mm -hmm. He's just two short people <laughs> tied together. He's got, he's got Nap <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte sy syndrome. Yeah. All small people know each other, so we would. I think we would have known. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's true. Actually, that would be much more true. He's a social activist for sure. He's that's... a social activist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, in so, Wizards of the Oz, once uh, once once was, to the end, they see that this of the man behind the curtains. Turns out there's a man behind the curtains. Mm. All right. Yeah, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Vampire lives like definitely that. matter. So yeah. last where we left off, you had arrived in the town of Velaki. And um, you were sort of allowed in at night time, which is a dangerous time for most uh, commoners to be outside, or at least outside of town. And um, the guardsmen were less than happy to let you in, but they eventually conceded. And when they um, allowed you to go inside, this mist followed. The mist was quickly apparent that it were, it needed an invitation to enter into town, and it took your invitation as its invitation as well. Well, night time is the right time to party. Um, Alright. <laughs> um, you quickly took care of this vampiric mist. It almost uh, killed uh, Handrig. He felt very, very weak after that and needed a long rest, so you headed to the town inn, met some interesting folk outside and inside of town, uh, got to learn a little bit about the geography of Lackey, some places of interest, and also the Blue Water Inn, which is where you find, find yourself. The Blue Water Inn is run... Um, you're not sure who by whom just yet, but you met his, uh, you met his wife, uh, Danica Martikov. Uh, she ran the, inn, uh, the, 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 um, the bar. And, um, and they serve really good food and alcohol. Yeah, they serve really good food and alcohol. It is, um, it was quite a nice, refreshing change, at least, from being haunted by undead uh, monsters, 
weird mists and other creepy crawly things. Until my brother gonna age. Uh, well, no, we'll get to that point. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. First, Buck met up, or sort of got himself mixed up with a carnival master uh, known as Rictavio. Rictavio um, immediately realized that Buck was not the cat that he was pretending to be at that moment. Um, mm. You turn into a cat, went to the table and listened to the story about a boy that was able to turn into wear hair. Um, you immediately realize that there's no such thing as a wear hair anyway. Not that the the people at the table realize that. The people at the table thought it was a true story. Sorry, because why would Rictavia the ring, ringmaster lie to them? He's a carnival ringmaster from outside. <laughs> outside, they don't know the strangeness that goes on outside, so they believed every word of it. As an example, he lifted up this cat, uh, which was you, Buck, and said, "This is what could happen to you if you are bitten by a wear hair." Mm. Um. Then um, he, while he was, I want to say fondling you, but that sounds really bad. <laughs> while, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, while, oh, while, oh, while he was interacting with you, while he was talking to you, or using you as an Fuck example. Is 16, <laughs> man. <laughs> PG, PG, guys, PG. Um, you, um, he realized. Just that... say he's a very tactile gentleman. <laughs> He realized he realized that you were not a cat. He realized that you were in fact a druid that that's able to uh, transform yourself. Um, so he s sort of carried you to his room. At making I'm making this worse by the second. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> but while he was carrying you to his room, you realized that he was also lying about what and who he was. He was not this half elven bard figure with a uh, splendid coat, a multicolored coat, and a wonderful floppy hat, but in, in, instead he was an elderly man, a uh, human man, <laughs> with grayish Just hair. Just a boring, plain human. Dig in the hole deeper, man. Dig in the hole deeper. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um, and um, he offered you a job. Hmm. <laughs> probably, yes. <laughs> Ronald, that is probably I true. Don't, uh... Just uh, after I fondled you, he proposed you a job. Yeah, not suspicious. Uh, not suspicious at all. <laughs> he said, "Join his circus um, for the festival of the blazing sun, sun that will be happening in three days." And mm. he also asked you to get him some information. He's looking for the names of the keepers of the feather, a secret mm. society of people with somewhere within Balaki. Um. You agreed to his offer as he gave you what was it, 50 gold? Uh, 25, I think. 25, 25 gold pieces, yeah. Uh, what was his offer? Because I was pretty broke. <laughs> you were pretty broke. Mm. Um, yeah, he, he paid you uh, an upfront payment and said he would pay you more uh, upon completion. Yes. There we go. You have uh, returned to your room, watched Ujar. Uh, going over his plans for the evening as well. Ujar has new inspirations and new ideas. You shared with him some of your ideas. And Barig and Hundrig immediately also went to bed. Where Barig has been having horrendous nightmares. Ooh. 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 Ah. Yeah, um... Spooky. Spooky, spooky <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> Well, I say horrendous nightmares. A lot of it is has got to do with filthy windmills and strange shaped food, squashing pies, but the pies still reshape themselves and you're still forced to eat them and then fall into the same slumber that Buck had gone into. It's this, you know how dreams work. It's, it's a strange mix of various things. You hear all those hints? Pies. Pies, Eric. <laughs> pies. The answer is pie. The answer is pie. Barig, you wake up the next morning feeling haggard, losing three of your maximum HP, not getting the rest uh, that you require, um, and also any spell slots that you used yesterday have been used. 
if you're a mm. spellcaster. Ouch. Uh, what spell had... slots did I use? This I is Barrick. No, Barrick, not Ujar. Uh, I had one spell slot left. You had one spell level slot one. left. On level one, uh, one. Do I get the level two ones from no, my level up? You don't regain anything from your long rest. Yeah, but I mean, I leveled up. Do I don't get. Oh right, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, so your your level up level stuff, you, level up stuff, you get. That is fine. Uh, you leveled okay. up, so you will okay. have those. It's just the sp level one spell slots that you use. Which, which you just for information, I have one level s one spell slot left and two level two spell slots left. All right. So th so you had four. You would have had four. Uh yeah, uh, four on level up, but three in all. I used two last session, so ah. I have one left. So that and, means you uh, have two yeah. level, you have two level one spells, uh, and uh, the all your oh, level two. Oh right. Because you leveled up, okay. you get a new spell slot. True. Yeah. Man, I'm so stuck with level one spell slot. <laughs> so <clears throat> Ujar, Ujar, Buck, and and uh, Henrik, you all are fine. You have had your long rest. You feel. Uh, you feel refreshed. You feel <clears throat> like you mm -hmm. took on on a, a difficult foe, uh, survived a difficult forest, mm -hmm. and did what needed to be done. I feel like eating some muffins. Yeah, <laughs> too. So, what would you like <laughs> did, to do? Do we and do do we do me does me and um, and Buck sleep in the same bed or do we have separate uh, rooms? Uh, I'll sleep, I'll sleep Not bed, rooms, rooms. Oh no. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you can see on the map. Yeah, you can the, see on the uh, map that you are sharing with Buck at the moment, and and uh, Henrik and Barak have their own rooms. Yeah, our room has two beds in it. Yes. So, does does that mean that I that you stayed up right late because I was staying up a lot uh, later uh, building this machine that you probably saw me working on and just putting together. I think Buck will sleep um, through a tornado. Yeah, uh, Buck is very tired. Um, so he'll he'll, no. he'll sleep through just about it. He'll sleep through a lot of things, but maybe he might wake up in the middle of the night to uh, to see uh, just by accident and might see something and then mm -hmm. fall back to sleep. So Ujar, if you could describe what what Bucky is currently seeing, and I will share a large picture of this. So when you wake up, you see a um, kind of what you described, which is a reptilian. Like creature with a forked tongue, uh, mostly blues and light, uh, dark blues and light blues as a skin color, and a pretty long tail. Standing on his uh, four feet, he's about two and a half feet tall, so he's taller than Ujar, but he seems to prefer standing upright, which is five feet tall. Oh, and wow. um, yeah, so he's pretty tall, but like he's not insanely tall, like that's smaller than. No, actually, no. When he's setting up, he's four and a half feet. My bad, mm -hmm. four and a half feet. So he's, he's still not that tall. But anyway, though, um, what you also notice is that uh, he makes weirdly purring noises. Hmm. And he seems to uh, prefer uh, sleeping on the on the bed curled up. Yeah, remember you can use alt. Yeah, you can use alt to to move your move your token a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller because most things on this map obviously yeah. is smaller. Mm -hmm. But for other maps, uh, he'll be normal he's size. He's dreaming and rolls over, falls asleep again. Because <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, a metal uh, a metal lizard just appearing out of nowhere seems kind of crazy to him. So imagine the townsfolk. <laughs> <laughs> imagine the townsfolk. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I worried now? Uh huh. Barak and Hendrik, what are you doing? I'll get back to Ujar okay. and Buck in a second. I, as I as I wake up, I uh, look around me and I'm like, oh, I better check on my uh, small little friends. They be gone for a bit, and I'm worried that something happened to them. And I uh, w go to my brother and I attempt to wake him up. So, uh, Barak, how are you I... feeling? Like shit. <laughs> I'm I'm already up at this point. I didn't get much sleep. And uh, I just look over to Hendrik and uh, I tell him, did you have a dream as well? Dream? Oh, sorry. Well, like a nightmare. I, I, I dreamt about some big, uh, th I mean, uh, no, I had no uh, nightmare. No, just happiness. Happiness from big, uh, 
I see. I see. I know what like I mean. As I as I blush a bit. So what what do you do? What are your dreams, Minoff? Buys. Ha! Ha! It'd be revenge for slapping me pie out of me hand three times. <laughs> hey, you know what they say. The third time is a charm. I proved that. It's the third... You better be on your way. I, I need some time to, to collect myself. Okay. It's the curse of the bald dwarf. Because <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> More like the curse of the old bitch. <laughs> Do you have a sleeping raven? Where? What? Huh? Where did you say? I, I yell. I yell oh. really loud. Udor! Period, lads! Outside. All right. I see that this is one of those maps that, that allows you to go through doors that that are supposed to block you. So I'll, I'll fix that <laughs> in a second. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> that door was closed. Mm, why is it? Um, oh, so restrict, wait. Mo ah, restrict movement enabled. Here we go. Restrict movement enabled. There we go. Can you give me a um, um, character sheet like MT for my spiritual weapon so I can drop the token? When I use sure. It? Um, actually, I, I do. Nice yeah, I've I've in this week purchased new um, animated things. I'm going to show you um, what oh, what is. All oh, right, you, you said that last week. Uh, yeah, I completely yeah, yeah, yeah. forgot about is. it. Do you want an axe, a sword, a hammer, a flail? I'm assuming. Has to be a hammer. <laughs> I was I was about to say, where is my hammer? All right, I'll show you your 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 new hammer. You should show them the black tentacles. <laughs> no, uh, not this group. Not this group. It's going to take a second because it, it takes a while this, to load in. But this is animated. Um... This is a token I made. Uh... You share it on Discord, sure. Oh, 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 wow. Nice. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, so the, oh, these yeah, these ones these ones animate themselves. Um, and I can give them control uh, control to them uh, to you as well in battle. Okay. So do uh, I raise the sleeping raven and the destroy magic pie, or do I keep them in my inventory? Um, who's oh! yeah, whose sleeping raven oh, is Buck, that? Buck was the sleeping raven. I okay, okay, good. Yeah. I wanted to say Buck uh, was the sleeping raven. I don't, I couldn't remember yeah. that there was another raven. So you can take that sleeping raven out. Uh, you can do whatever you want with the pie because that is the drugged pie that was bought and thrown on the ground, and Ujar cleans up because Ujar cleans up everything. You can then. Uh, I would have. I would have. I would have thrown it. Like I would have cleaned it up to get it off the street, but I wouldn't keep it in my inventory. I would just put okay. it in a trash facilitator right. or somewhere where it's better. There's no trash in. So. <laughs> you just would have chucked it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, we were in the middle so, of the woods. So. Yeah. Right. How about this? I kept it with me and then I gave it to. I gave it to to Arthuriel to dispose of it. Basically, right, sure. just chomping on it and they get destroyed and get added to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can't get drugged. This is a he's casual a freaking trash machine. can in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, um, he's my natural trash can. Yeah. He eats anything. So, Barig, when it, when it comes <laughs> to the spiritual weapon, for now, we can keep my spiritual weapon and then later I'll give you the whole token thing. I can't do it right now. Either in a break time sure. or, or afterwards. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, Hendrik, you will hear the, that the noise, or, uh, sorry, Ujar and Buck are in the room next to you. He sure is. He sure I, is. Uh, sure I'd be is. running in without knocking, if I can. <laughs> that's why, that's why I opened the door for you. <laughs> I, oh, I was so worried, lads. Hello. You what see some kind, of, <laughs> some kind of weird lizard thing close to Ujar's lizard, lizard body. <laughs> You, it, it walks, it walks close to you, and then it gets up on two feet and it starts hissing. Oi, you better be staying away from Ujar! I'd be holding my axe out. <laughs> I, I run, I run forward and say, no, no, this Ujar friend, Ujar best friend, this Arthuriel. She my Wait, new friend. Be your best friend, and I look kind of sad, you know, I look to the, to the floor, and then I look up, oh, oh, oh. Oh well. Who's your happy to say we have happy many to new now. friends, new best friends? Oh, we can mount it to battle. So early uh, in the morning, and you're already making a ruckus. He's not strong enough to 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 lift us. Who's your think? 
Uh, it's good. It's good. I, my, my brother is a bit grumpy. He had a bad sleep. I don't mind him. Uh, Uja goes over to to the bed, and I lift you up and drag you to the conversation. Drag you to <laughs> to uh, to uh, to Ethereal. Oh no! Say hi to Ethereal, Buff. Ah, uh, uh, I'm scared. Uh, hi. Why you be scared? Look at it. It's Artemis. Yeah. Looks it's big enough to eat him. It doesn't talk like like animals. Yeah, does it even do? Uh, what, what does it do? Uh, it be having the face. It, it, it talks like a cat, basically. <laughs> uh. Sorry. <laughs> does it? I'm gonna start talking to it and see if it responds with uh, using my uh, speech of the woods. Ooh. <laughs> so Ujo, yeah, Ujo, does it respond when when he speaks animal noises back to it? It, I, I think it says that it has telepathic communication with me. I think I'm not too sure about that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it can. It knows any language that I know. Understands the languages you speak. Yeah, but you but don't speak. You don't speak. It. You don't speak what Ujar, what what Buck can speak. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, be so, I, be so. I see this woman walk past or whatever. It is. That is not a. That is, that is not a woman. That is Rictavio. Rictavio is uh, leaving his room for the morning as well. But bye bye lads. I wave. I wave. Bye bye lads. <laughs> yeah, Rictavia, Rictavia greets you. Ah, good morning, gentle folk. Sorry, uh, don't want to bother your skull session there. I'm just on my way out. You were a little noisy. And you see him ooh, walking. Ooh, ah, see ah. him to... Wait, do yeah. you guys want some pie? I'm think I want some pie this morning. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh... But... Better watch out what you say, lads. You don't, you don't be want to mentioning pies now. He be having bad sleep of pies. I was fucking. Can pies. I do an insight check as to why he's craving for pies right now? Because I don't know if he would, if Ujo knows or he, does he know? Sure. Uh, back. Uh, you need to make a roll, and uh, Ujar, you can make a roll to insight check. Oh, uh, I know. Eric already figured it out, right? That he was addicted to pies. I I mean, not I sure. wasn't even there, so I don't even know what I do or don't know. You're not, you're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Buck. <laughs> he's just you're in the mood for pies this someone. morning. Yeah, he's just he's <laughs> looking for pies. I mean, what's wrong with having wanting to have pies? Okay, me too. Yeah, you'll be eating uh, again. You'll be thinking about the pies again, you fat fuck. I mean, uh... <laughs> PG, PG. I see um, someone was run trying to run down the wrong stairs. Just, just want to remind you that this is the stairs you go out of. From uh, it's here. because I couldn't go through the. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't go through the door. I, I have to limit I you guys for doing that. some certain things, right? So we can keep it all contained. <laughs> of course. Hi, lads. Let me going down. Follow me, brother. He's grumpy and he's been having a bad sleep. He just wants to get some breakfast right now. That's ah. the only thing that's gonna brighten his day a bit. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, he's eager to get to wooden it. box. There is pie inside. <laughs> <laughs> Ten slices of pie. <laughs> oh no, we lost Ujar. Did we lose Ujar? Oh no, Ujar, come back. I'm sure he'll be back. Ah, we lost Ujar. Okay, now it's two vs one. Get get down. <laughs> uh, well, I do need to know if Ujar is bringing the the metallic thing down the stairs though. Hmm. Uh, where's Ujar? Ujar, oh no. All right, I'll 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 keep him there uh, until we figure out. All right, so yes, walking downstairs, you can see that the that the inn is compared to how busy it was last night. It is pretty empty right now. You can hear there's some scrambling going on in the kitchen, some scratching and things going on in the kitchen, but there's no one else really here. It's quiet. Do we hear it? Do we hear it? What's going on in the kitchen? Of course, you go. You can hear what's going on in the kitchen. Kitchen's right over oh, here. Kitchen's right. Eric, it'd be very, very quiet. Can we, can, can, uh, can I uh, check the kitchen? Yeah. You go ahead. I'll just wait here. Do you want I... me to do it? Uh, yeah. Go for it, little lad. Okay. 
Uh, Where hmm. are we? Yeah, so uh, uh, we lost you for a second. So the rest of them are downstairs. Yeah. I want to know: Are you bringing? Are you bringing your friend downstairs? Um. Hmm. I have proficiency in disguise. I don't own a disguise kit currently, mm -hmm. but is it possible to find different things to help it look normal? So how do you want like, to make it look um, normal from the things that you have in your room? Let's say. I will give you the description of your room uh, so you know what it looks like. Guest rooms. Ah, so this is the two cozy beds with matching foot lockers rest in the far corners of this 15 foot square room. Wolf furs are heaped on top of each other. Each bed. Between the beds, a lamp sits on a table under a shuttered window. Two black, uh, Two tall black wardrobes stand against the wall by the door. Fuck, is there a huge ass bed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Buck shifted into a badger. Oh, right. Oh, I have thieves' tools. I have smith's tools. <laughs> if I had tinker's tools, I could spend an hour and make this guy's kids. I but guess. I don't have tinker's tools either. Right. So, what are you gonna do, Jar? I'll get you back in a second. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Give me one say. Uh, go back to me uh, all right. a little bit. I'll all right, you'll tell me when you're ready. I'll see what. Yeah. So, Buck, you have mm -hmm. transformed into oh, a badger. I have common clothes that I'm not using. I have common clothes I'm not using. I'll just dress them up with it. <laughs> make them look kind of uh, human esque. Because you can stand up in two feet mm -hmm. and walk normally like that. So, made me a disguise kit check. I think it is dexterity plus your proficiency plus a d20. Just give him okay. a big old jacket and a top hat. So sleight of hand? Sleight of hand, sure. Would that work? Sleight of hand could work. I guess. 22. Wow! Look at that. Um, It was supposed to be yours, not not his, but yours. Oh. Um, my bad. I don't... I did do it through Ujar, but I'm clicked on as... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I did so... do it through Ujar. All right, yeah, no, that's fine. Because a thorough doesn't have proficiency. Oh, to just say, yeah, sleight of hand shouldn't be him. Okay, yeah, for the day... That's whatever you select on the bottom is what it shows it as. I see. Yeah. Um, For t for today, he is perfectly fine. He's going to be disguised as a very, very short she. child. She. You said he earlier, that's why I said he. Oh, I did? Oh, my bad. Indeed. I last minute change it to a she, I guess. Oopsies. Oopsies. <laughs> Alright, Badger Buck. Mm. You scare the uh, crap out of dwarves, both the dwarves who are sitting at the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I, I'd, be, I'd be used to it right now. If he's be, be, be shape shifting again, I'd be like, ah, oh, here we go again, little lads. <laughs> Can't you just open the door like a normal fuck? <laughs> I, I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> I, uh, I got my uh, my head in between my hands and I'm just uh, holding it, mm. massaging my temples. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, Mr. Ba Mr. Badgerbuck. Badgerbuck. Uh, scurry over the counter and into the kitchen. All right. Scurrying over the counter and into the kitchen. Uh, do you want to do this stealthily mm -hmm. or just do this? I'm going to do this. I'm going to attempt to do this stealthily. All right. Uh, I don't have stats for a, for a regular badger. I don't just know roll dexterity checks. Okay, I don't know what a dexterity check. Should I just use the stats for a cat or? It should show on the, if you go to the character sheet. Uh, open open the character sheet. I got, got giant badger, but not regular badger. Yeah, I don't think there is a regular badger. All right. So we can use the giant. Oh, there is. Oh, apparently there is. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I did not know. Uh, it's dexterity is plus zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it should be the same as as this one. I don't have control over that icon. Yeah, I'm on the way. Give me a second. <laughs> it's a lot of work I got to do, you know. Uh... Oh my. Oh man. What do you mean you have to do work here? <laughs> buck and buck. There we go. Buck now you should buck. have buck and buck. Sounds now like a restaurant. <laughs> All right, Back so book. where is your wild shapes? There is your wild shapes, and we will put a badger in there. All right. All right. Now a re-roll for me, please. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't roll yet. Uh, dex. 
seven. Slides into view. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, yeah. Um, you are making battery noises, so whoever is in here knows exactly what you are, and you're bashing through this place like a mm -hmm. a badger should. Yes. So you're not surprised to see Rictavio not surprised either. Uh, mm -hmm. Rictavio is oh. currently <laughs> Rictavio is currently standing over a a, a pot that is stewing and um, mm -hmm. just pretending that you weren't there, <laughs> just a slight <laughs> smile on his face. And he said, ah, good morning, uh, Mr. Buck. I see that you are uh, here in your usual mm -hmm. form. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting myself an apple and some steak. Buck badger waves and gives him the thumb up, thumbs up and then rejoins the group. If you want break, yeah, he's, he'll yell at you. If you want breakfast, just grab some. There's, there's beetroot stew and, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and he leaves. I and he leaves. Because Obviously, yeah. Yeah. Buck will start gesturing wildly at the dwarves and realize that he he can't talk to them. Mm -hmm. Um. And so he'll turn back and say, "Uh, it's just the Rictavio guy is in there." Also, he says there's breakfast if you want it. Uh, sure. Breakfast sounds great. Oh. Great use of the wild buys. shape. <laughs> Best use of wild chip ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you, um, what was your passive perception as a badger? Uh, uh it would be my passive perception, right. which is sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, so you saw okay. that. Yeah. This. You saw that. That. Um. That Rictavi had also, um, taken the apple and the steak uh, after he he did what he needed to do and then uh, went outside, uh, through mm. uh, outside. Um through the back door there. So okay. that's why there are no one currently in this kitchen. Ah. So it's like self serve? Yeah, it's you, you get the sense that that um that in the morning the the inn is or the inn owners aren't awake yet. Mm -hmm. Um so yes, for, for yourself breakfast you need to help yourself. Breakfast is prepared. Okay. Okay. But yeah, the inn owners need mm -hmm. to sleep sometime. <laughs> Buck is going to completely that's ignore false. all the food in the kitchen and eat pie from his box all right. of treats. What kind of pie do you make for yourself? Uh, cherry pie. Cherry pie. Nice. Mm. <laughs> all right. I walk into the kitchen with, with Beric. Mm -hmm. All right. Should I give you this? around for some meat, uh, eggs, etc. and start cooking breakfast. All right. So, yeah, this room looks like the kitchen of someone who loves to cook. It has piles of pots, uh, walls lined with utensils and shelves of ingredients, and all manner of pleasant odors. There are two lanterns hanging above a sturdy pine work table in the middle of the clutter. Um, because it's still light gray outside, the lanterns are lit, uh, and a pot of soup bubbles on the hearth already. I'd be this yelling is, this again. Is the closest thing I've seen from home in a long time. Aye. I want to be honest, I'm kind of freaked out. I don't see any people. <laughs> you don't even see this. Maybe. You don't even see. You saw Rictavia for a second and then he's gone. Yeah, what's pinging? I, think I, I, I think I have to open this door. I mean, like, I'm just oh, this searching one. for people. This, this point. one here. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, what should I roll to cook breakfast? In, well, first make me an investigation check and then, uh, then we'll, we'll see what you find. <clears throat> Um, well, you're not going to find too much food other than what's already cooked and prepared here. And what you find cooked and prepared is this uh, beetroot stew. Or some kind okay. of stew. Then uh, I'm just going to take uh, a bowl and uh, fill it. And I'm going to take a seat uh, at the counter and eat it there. All right. Um, mm. Barig, oh, sorry, Handrig. You see this hallway contains three curtained alcoves as well as a larger area stuffed with wine barrels. So, yep, there's wine uh, barrels, yeah, over, here wine and, barrels and, over here and curtains over there. And then the I'd be door. Yelling. Far I'd inside. be yelling, hey, hello, be anybody in there? <laughs> um, Buck, you can you hear coming through this through this section here, someone's yelling from behind. It's obviously Henrik yelling from behind. 
the <laughs> large barrels. Oh man, I could throw this place. This place is freaking me out. I, I ain't scared, but uh... Ujar, follow, follow me closely. I, I ain't scared. I'm I, I, ain't, I ain't scared. Follow me closely. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's for your Uja safety, not to, mine. <laughs> Uja wanted to, before that, he wanted to look to see if he can find any food, and uh, Arthurio is going to try to help him find any food. Alright, so you get advantage on your investigation. Any, any, yeah, any yeah, food yeah, other yeah, than beetroots to you? Uh, he's trying to look for like rations or things, or some that he can make, some that hasn't been already been touched by other people or oh, messed I see, I see. with. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, um, the, the, this pantry is, well, not this pantry, this kitchen is well stocked. Like I said earlier, someone someone really loves making food in here. And there, you can see from this is one person making the food. Um, sometimes someone else is helping, but it is a smaller creature like yourself that is helping here. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't much of value in here, but uh, looking through... What there is, is there would be um, vegetables, mostly beetroots, and then some steaks. The steaks are still uh, raw, uh, so that mm. hasn't been prepared yet. It is clearly for tonight, or for the evening. There isn't much else, okay. except for the wine. But that's in the room that, that what can I get currently in. What can I take without being too, you know greedy in, in in other terms how many rations can i take with the stuff without being too greedy so all, all, all the stuff uh, here is fresh you can see that, that everything is made fresh and prepared fresh so there isn't anything that's dried or or rationy in that sense hmm. okay. okay then i guess i'll just make uh, a, a dish for all four of us if possible You'll be eating again? Back in my times in the war, you had to eat like a once a three days. You had no time for it. <laughs> Apparently, Uja this... don't think we've eaten yet. Uja, no, this morning. You ate earlier? I am having an iron stomach. I have pie. I got stew. Uja, Uja pie. not trust pie. <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> I but sense I a theme here. Roll pie for himself. Mm -hmm. What, what <laughs> do I roll? What do I roll to make food for us? No, make me, make me that survival check that that um, uh, Barak wanted to make earlier. So Hendrik, are you and finally brave enough to go out of that door? No. I, I am doing. doing what? what so, so when you described Arthur Real, he had uh, two legs and two arms, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. He can grab like tools with his mouth and hand them over to me and things like that. Then I guess that's me. what he's doing. Why are you asking me? So he's your creature, then? not mine. But so, can uh, I get the uh, help action or? Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna use the shit out of this for sure. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. All right, so, um, Hendrik, you're heading through this door, right? Right. I, I I'd be having to do everything my goddamn self, mm -hmm. and I'd be heading on the door. Right. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna make a wisdom saving throw? No, you're fine. <laughs> as you as you walk outside of this door, you see that this leads outside. Um, on the side of the inn, this is a, obviously a two-story inn. The ground floor and the first floor. There are a bunch of ravens outside on the roof, uh, slumbering this early in the morning. Um, townsfolk far in the distance the main road is sort of here but it curves off to the right the main road oh the, the wisdom saving throw my asshole just went like <laughs> <laughs> so i have to sometimes remind you that you are in a gothic horror, horror campaign and anything can happen at any second mm -hmm. but in this in this moment you are perfectly fine you are currently you are under the roof there so this is one of those extended sections the 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 top room is just above you or one of these guest rooms are above you you see a little well that they get water from i'd be just walking around and going back inside 
I'll give you the description of the well, why not? It's a three foot high stone room uh, that surrounds the mouth of this 40 foot deep moss lined well. The inn draws fresh water from this well. <laughs> fresh food, good well, nice place, no people. <laughs> I, I interrupted this. You did have people last night, there was a full inn last night. And now magically there's nobody. No, there's nobody. Well, you did. Someone. Buck did see Rictavio. Hmm. Did I know that? You heard voices coming from the kitchen. You did hear Rictavio coming. Uh, his voice coming from the kitchen. And then... voice, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's. Let all of the eating all of the going. We have a tough day ahead of us. All right. Uh. What do I clean my hands off with? It's covered in pie. Uh, Barak, you will, you will definitely find some tankards there, but it's mostly for the wine. <laughs> um, do you want to make me a quick investigation check for these three barrels of wine here? Uh, sure. The obsession with uh, the obsession with baked goods is is a good question, but it's it's there. Mm. Um, all right, so this first barrel is the one that you that you tap. It looks perfectly fine. And you, oh, yeah. you I guess do... it must be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it must be fine. I need to drink it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you want to drink it? It's labeled Red Dragon Crush. Hmm. Uh, it's the one I you had get to drink uh, last night. Oh, sorry, no, this, <laughs> sorry, I, I, I got it incorrect. This one is not Red Dragon Crush. This is Purple Grape Mash. Number three. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna smell it first. Okay. <laughs> Make a nature Since check. It's different from the one. Uh... Yeah, it's different from the okay. one you had. It's like great Kool Aid. It's wine. You're experimenting <laughs> with wine. <laughs> you don't know anything about tannins, about about the, the what wine should be, what what the process is, what everything <laughs> is. Do you want to taste it? Yeah, I mean, it seems fine to me, so let's give it a try. And I'm okay. going to give it to Hendrik as well, because I, I popped two tankards. I'm going to hand it to him. <laughs> Bottoms up! Bottoms up, lads! Ha ha! For Moradin! As I shake him. For, for, for who? Yeah, and it beats some thunder in God. It's four warriors like us. And I chest bump and I look at him and we got warriors. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this what? is what? this is sadly that cheap wine that that mm, the, the 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 thing you go buy for a few dollars when you go outside and visit someone's house. <laughs> it sounds oddly specific. <laughs> I, so, I, so this is a taste of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to spit it out, but yeah. This tastes nothing like the one I had yesterday. <laughs> spit takes freaking shit. Oh well. Oi, all right, let me off. We got, got, we got shit to do, lads. All right. Oh, so, what are we gonna do today? We have to go and see whoever is in charge of the town. Oh. I, oh. the Burgermaster, had some plans for us. I think it was I... Good. Oh, yeah. With I title. Need to sign up the leaders to the Order of the Feather. The Feather. The Order of the What? That doesn't sound mighty. Uh, I don't know. They're just, I need to find the leader of the, the Keepers of the Feather. <laughs> I'm not helping Why at all. You... I don't say anything. <laughs> Did you uh, Did well... you dream this, lads? What? Did you dream that, or uh, are you seeing things now? No, the the half elf old man guy told me that he wants to know. No, okay. he said he'd give me a lot of money if I told him. Oh wait, oh, <laughs> I pulled my brother. Did <laughs> 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 you hear that? <laughs> you gotta find the skipper, lad. I think. 
Well, he's <laughs> fine, but we don't, know, twist. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know the true identity of the man who tasked him with with this mission. I think we should still talk with the Burgermeister first, then decide. We could maybe ask right. him if he knows anything about this man. Uh, brother, Nothing tells us he's good company. I, I kiss my brother on the forehead. This, this is why I love you. <laughs> You're a smart you a brain. Uh, well, someone has to be. For two. Ha! All right. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna meet the burger master then. I. Burgermeister, <laughs> I think you say it. It's yeah. so weird title. Think, oh so I'm, I'm still think, trying oh to God, figure God. figure out if Buck knows what a burger bur burgermeister is, or if <laughs> if he really is in the belief that this is a burgermeister. <laughs> I don't know myself, obviously. Okay, so I think so Uja this has been telling him throughout the t the throughout the journey about what uh, about so um Uja, a what is a... about the town that we yeah. know. No, he thinks he's he thinks he cooks burgers. Yeah. So, so okay. a burger, Burgermeister is a Dutch or German term. I can't remember which one it is. It is a the German the German yeah, term. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the oh, German. Oh, I know what yeah. they're alive. <laughs> the German in here would be able to tell me whether, whether it's Dutch or German. But yeah, it's it's a mayor of a town. Um, therefore, it is the leader mm -hmm. of a town usually, and it mm -hmm. is spelled Burgermeister, not Burgermeister. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's just buck, it. it's buck being buck. Oh, but it's actually Dutch. Uh, Oh, sorry. I thought it was Meister. Okay. Yeah. No, this one is Burgermeister. So oh, it should be Burgermeister. Oh, we call it Burgermeister. Yeah. It's, uh, see, in, in, I would agree with you. It is Burgermeister, but obviously with the English, it has to be changed to Burgermeister. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the way they spell it in here is Burger Burgermeister. The way I spelled it maybe, there. Maybe it's the Game of Thrones. Uh. Uh. Me having watched that, that makes me think of the maester mm. as a word. Yeah, but see, maester, yeah, maester is another word for master, and um, mm -hmm. burgo is a uh, burg is a mountainous area. It's a, it means mountain mountain master, basically. But it's okay. a mayor of a place. There, there comes my real life. Okay, how do you guys do that? Uh, uh, hold the, uh, when you're dragging it, press right click, and you can just keep right clicking where you want the uh, waypoints to go to. So, so first hold in left click, then tap right click, and then um, hold, uh, then yeah. then uh, use, then move your token. Yeah. Uh, so, it, okay, will, so it won't hold look left like click. it does anything. Then tap you, right click, tokens. and then then drag your token with your left click. Oh. Okay. And then right click again so to move doing... where you want to. No, it won't do anything to you, but it will show oh, to everyone okay. else. Right. Let's be going, lads. No. It didn't move at all. Okay, so I hold L1. Hold, hold L1, then yeah. tap right click, then then drag your token to where you want it to, and then then right click again. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing it with your token. And you can set little waypoints. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, it works. Uh, you can set little waypoints well, by right there. clicking again. To, it's uh... it's very finicky though. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, the term, term burger in German means the people who live in the town the mayor is responsible for. Thank you, Vinyl, for the correction that I Did made. Did that work? Hmm. I, I wasn't watching. I was watching my, my streams. I don't know. It's going to be know tough. how it's I picture be... you are? Mm -hmm. Did that work? You did move. So, yeah. Every time I think about Ujar, I think about Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Ujar Jar Binks. Ujar Jar Binks. <laughs> so you're gonna have to practice it, Ujar. I don't think it worked there, but you you'll it, it it takes a while for it to click as well. Oh here we go. Alright, so how are you going to get to the Burgermaster's mansion? Uh, I guess we're gonna stop the first person we come across in the streets and ask them kindly to point us to the Burgermeister's office or whatever it is. Perception yeah. perception check for me, please, Hanrik. A barig, sorry, barig. I want to freak out Hendrik even more by saying there's no one in town. <laughs> <laughs> it is misty. It is foggy. It is. You're still not used to the fact that this is now day what four, and you haven't seen the sun fully, at all since you've been here. Mm. Um, fog is persistent. Luckily for you, fog doesn't really enter into this town, but the clouds are there. Are always clouds covering the sky. It's always dark. It's it feels like it is 
perpetually night, but there is variations to the gray light. That's how you know it is at least daytime. Um, it takes you a little while to get someone who isn't scared of you, seeing as they <laughs> have now noticed that you're either a bunch of children running around with a strange looking child. I'm not going to say if this is if this is um, your your uh, new friend Arthuriel, or if this is Ujar himself, start, <laughs> s sort of standing out here. That's a mutant child. <laughs> that probably... He kind of looks like a dragon. He, he would look a bit kind of like a dragonborn, I would assume, or a There would be no dragon... neither yeah. good. Yeah, neither of them are good. <laughs> this, this entire <laughs> village has got humans in them. They've never seen a dragonborn mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. They are going teenage mutant cobalt. <laughs> teenage mutant cobalt. <laughs> they are going to associate this immediately with the the leader of the town's guard, which is not a good thing for them, at least. Um, either somehow, mutant. yeah, either somehow the leader of the town's guard has had a new muted child, or the devil has brought something into town which they shouldn't trust. So the information you're getting, Barrick, is not the best information. I'm just going to do the same as usual. I'm going to wiggle some gold in their faces. Ah. Well, then you've got an advantage on your persuasion check. How much gold are you wiggling in their faces here? Uh, I mean, last time, one coin was enough to make her completely uh, <laughs> yeah, go woman. my way. So yeah. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just going to start with... Um, Let's say five silver coins. Five silver coins, okay. Make me that persuasion check with advantage. All right. Boom. <laughs> wow. Sorry, yeah, it, it was... not made any difference. Capitalism. Well, that's, how, that's how you do it, guys. Hmm. Take notes. That is how you do it, exactly. <laughs> is... Money, money talks, money, money talks of, uh, all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Everywhere. in this case, even though they they are very very freaked out by what is happening here, they will they will at no point say that that they are scared. They will in fact say, "Oh yes, have a wonderful day," and she, they'll give you that 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 smile they've been practicing for years. All oh, will be mm. well. The the Burger Master's Mansion is that way, and they'll give you directions to to this location over here. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I'm just gonna drop the five silver coins to them and remove it from my sheet. Mm -hmm. And now let's go this way. Barga, yeah. See, that's what I think I meant. Vinyl and Barga is is very very different from from Berg. But, mm. yeah. Right. Right. How, how long does it be taken before we arrive? Six and a half hours. Wait, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gullible apparently. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the way there, you do walk past uh, this N7 here, which is this building here, um, which appears to be a shop of some kind. Um, this would be Ooh. the uh, the toy maker's shop that Rictavia had mentioned the night earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it is almost open, but it's still early in the morning, so it is closed right now. Uh, hmm. Let me just get the description here. N7, where are you? Ah, here we go. Yeah, so this cramped shop um, has a dark entrance portico, above which hangs a wooden sign shaped like a rocking horse, with a B engraved on both sides. Flanking hmm. the entrance are two arched lead-framed windows, and through the dirty glass you see a jumble of, uh, jumbled display of toys and a hanging placard bearing the slogan Is no fun! Is no blinsky! <laughs> I'm gonna go into the shop. Oh, the shop is closed. It's, and... it's not open oh. yet. <laughs> I'm gonna stare through the window and see if I can see any Kinker's tools. Oh, mm. yeah, there we go. Stare through the window. Perception check it is. I'm gonna roll a longing two, three, four, five, six, seven. Through the window. Perception check, please. Five. Oh, five. oh no. Um. All right. So the the thing that's that's making you not really see what's what's happening in this thing is this moving um moving toy that flaps up and down, flaps up and down, flaps up and down, and it's rather 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 large 
um, before you realize it's a mobile. It's wood, it's made of a wooden string, and it's these hanging bats with flapping wings, and they sort of mm. make your perception more difficult. Hmm. Is sort of in the way. Yeah. It's it, every every time he tries to look, the, this bat flaps into his way, and then bat flaps away, and flaps in his way, and then Whoa, flaps away. Whoa, that's <laughs> okay. That's uh, prescient bat. So can we walk away? And walk next to uh, Ethereal. All right. Which apparently, <laughs> with that sleight of hand check, everyone is thinking is a child. <laughs> uh, well, he's standing upright, so he's taller than us. So. <laughs> it's a, all right. Sorry, a teenager. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's, the, the, he's the adult <laughs> of the group yeah, who just doesn't talk. <laughs> exactly. I guess the burger master will be addressing him then. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, just, you need to practice for ventriloquism so you can just like, like <laughs> are we, do we arrive here? yes yeah, so the man, this mansion you arrive at outside of the mansion this mansion has walls of plastered stone that display many scars where the plaster has fallen away from age and neglect uh, drapes cover every window including a large arched opening above the mansion's double entrance door you have arrived at the burgomaster's mansion um, um, should we knock or go in? I, uh, we, we better we knock. Be right. to knock. I've been mean, knocking hard on it. Mm-hmm. All right. Is there anything you say while when you knock? FBI, open, open up! up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he says every day, but <laughs> in, the, in this particular instance, <laughs> me, me lord, we will, we would like. Uh, we would like a, how do you call it, an audience? Mm. There we go, that sounds better. Oh, where did you learn such a fancy word? Where's that? I, I... Shut up. I be having a dream. Don't call me dumb. <laughs> Make me a performance check, please. Oh, well, then that's going to... That's going to make make this, this weird comparison between adult and well, teenager and child much li- much more interesting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's but just a new man who just doesn't want, doesn't want her to look to, to, to get lost or anything. Okay. Yeah, it is its first day in the world, so I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, you um, wait a few minutes because always you always will be waiting at places. Some elevator music is playing. Mm-hmm. You can hear... It's too close. Yeah. Like a... It took us six hours to walk out of the street, by the way. <laughs> I'm joking with you. It took you, it took <laughs> you a few minutes. It was like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm really joking about the six-hour thing. <laughs> it was most likely, at the most, it was 25 minutes. This is large streets, and the town is big, but it's not that big. This is this is a town, but not, not a city. City would take you blocks yeah. and days, hours. It, it... If it would take you six hours to walk from point A to point B, that's like several, like that's a few, not several, but like... If it took you six hours to walk through this town, you're never going to be able to go anywhere in this place because you can't even travel like that from one point to the other. Oh Oh, no, why? <laughs> but do you get pie all over your your pamphlet and instead of playing it, you're just licking it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Buck is gonna try to do elevator music, but this pie comes out of the flute when he tries to blow through it. It's like. All right, down. so uh, Hendrik, after after about uh, five or ten minutes, uh, uh, the door does finally open, and you see this haggard um, woman looking out. Uh, she's dressed in some clothes, and she's clearly a a maid of some kind. Uh, how may I help you? My lady, as I think about. Uh, I was she looks at you strangely. I, I, was to, I, I was speaking for the group as we are uh, be looking for the burgomaster. He ought to be saying that we, we had the rumors that there'd be work and we are and so on. You have an strong. appointment? Certainly we don't have. Uh, <laughs> but. We we killed the vampire. You, you know, we killed the mist that came into the town. I am sorry, but without an appointment, the burgomaster does not take anyone. 
Okay, okay, I know how, it, how this works. I'm just gonna throw um, <laughs> gold coin at her. Holy crap. Just get us an appointment with your Throw master. <laughs> Alright, take that gold coin oh. off. Another persuasion check. Oh, no. we're those people. <laughs> we're looking... So, so, I love how this work is, is... We're looking for workers who want to get gold. I'm throwing all the gold coins <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> oh. It's a whole oh. investment. She's gonna look down at it the coin and she's going to say... I'm sorry, but I will get my hide torn from my skin if I let you in without an appointment. Oh, oh. But I'll still take the coin, though. <laughs> she does She does not take the coin. She looks at the coin oh. offend, offend, offendedly. So better be making an appointment right now. You'll be having four armored guests in front of you, Gates. Uh, uh, five. I don't I have don't... armor. Bunk, shh, play along. I have armor. <laughs> Deception check <laughs> back. I would like to say five, please. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh -huh. So, Ujar, you get, you, you get a persuasion check. You don't get advantage because um, everyone is talking over you quite clearly. Oh. Sadly. And this woman is looking more and more haggard by the second. So, Ujar, please make me a persuasion check with just the normal one. Persuasion. Persuasion. You would assume it would be right below perception, but I guess not. No, the time is e straight in the middle. Mm, straight it's in the middle. It's not good at all. Wow, this is a smart woman. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. I am sorry, but... I must know, must know at what time you wish to speak to the Burgermaster. He is a very, very, very as possible. Very well. Oi, lady. Can, can you just go back to that Burgermeister thingy and tell him that you have the armored guest in front of your building that saved commoners here from the mist? We slain it. We are good folk. We are warriors. I shall inform him thusly. Please give me a minute or two. And she closes do she the door one more time. I just got them falling over here as soon as she left and she's out of the, the hero age. So okay. dramatic. It's an angry of the horror. <laughs> the angry of the what? What now? Yeah, what did you say? I'm just, I'm just raging. I'm raging. I mean, outside, I'm just kicking stones and raging. And... Ooh. Oh, that's a nice stone. But they're picking them up. So when the guards that do regularly patrol the streets walk past are you still raging yes i mean look, walking around angrily and raging good that remember God, to be happy <laughs> excuse me Uja, yeah uh, Uja, we're wait, Uja will try to calm him down wait Uja will try to calm him down can i try to calm him down <laughs> yeah sure you go you've got you've got one round here two <laughs> rounds we'll say. the guard the guards what have just the, the the guards have just noticed that that there is someone uh, raging outside of the burgomaster's mansion. I don't know what that would be. That's what I'm, I'm I'm hoping you tell me. It doesn't have to be a role. Yeah, assume. it doesn't have to be a role. It can be words. You can just try and calm him down with okay. your words, and he can tell okay. us if he's happy. Okay, Ujar. About that. Okay, Ujar. Uh, oh, at first, Ethereal would try to wrap around, uh, wrap near his feet, kind of like you know. A cat does, and purr, and then I will say, "Weird Uja, cat." I think it's, yeah, weird cat. But yeah. they've, but they've never seen a dragon, and I don't even know if this if cats even exist in our world. So, it's a well, weird animal in general. Cats do exist in this world, <laughs> at least. This is just a very okay. big cat. Uh, so I will, but then I will say, H Hendrik, d d don't get mad. She she will go and talk to that guy to 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 the burger master and then we can go get money. It'll be okay. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hell? Like <laughs> what did you say, uh, Hendrik? Whatever. Oh boy, that's a lot Want of guards. <laughs> We're about to die, guys. <laughs> At least I got my uh, my guy out. So um, um you, you've calmed down, Henrik. 
Uh, a little bit. A little bit. All right. All right. Still raging. Are you still raging? So are you telling me I, yeah. I need to bring the guards closer then? Oh yeah, sure. Sure. All right. So. Uh, after about a minute or two, you do see that these three guards that were on duty bring four more reinforcements with them. Um, I shall bring you over to the map. You are outside here at the Burgermaster's entrance. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of guards. Ex what you're looking at? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. They'll obviously look at you strangely because of your size, but um, other than that, they'll be like, Why are you not happy? I'd be asking for a fucking audience, and I'd be waiting here. I saved the life of a few guards and commoners. Ain't that mean nothing to you, lads? Need we remind you of the laws of a lucky? Need you to remind me that I have an axe in my hands. Oh no. Ah, I oh. see. So of... <laughs> it is death you have chosen. <laughs> so yeah, ah, it has so is you death have you have chosen. chosen. So you have chosen <laughs> death. One of the guards do do nod to the other other ones. Ah, please go and fetch Isaac for us. We have a problem citizen over here. He will join the others at the center of town. No, uh, before I will try to uh, Ujar will try to run up and say. No, no, uh, he, he, he just a little drunk. He drank a lot. He Deception not check. A mag. He, he, okay. Yeah, you, you, you do see, yeah, you see, um, one of these guards are starting to prepare what appears to be some kind of mask that they're, that they've, they've got slung over their, uh, their, their belts and things. <laughs> um, um, can, can I say you're trying to help me by making the drinking motion and like acting super tipsy and then pointing <laughs> that at Edward? You're not gonna get you're not gonna get an advantage on that, unfortunately. No. Okay, but can you can I think you'll still do that? <laughs> yeah, I think I can do that any day. Ooh. All right. Yeah, it's very very good. What's it inside? Uh, into uh, was. Insight. 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 Yeah, yeah, but what is it? Insight. Intelligence yeah. or wisdom? Oh, wisdom, wisdom. Yeah, sorry. Woo! This guard was very, Ooh, very close to understanding you. <laughs> the guard is going to look at the rest of the guards. Did this red thing just speak to me? Strange. And you say he's drunk? Ujar, Ujar, promise he's drunk. U Ujar, no Hendrik, love alcohol. He drank a lot of the purple stuff. I see. Well then, uh, perhaps a, a, a night in the brig will make him happier. Please come with us, sir. Right now, lads. Yeah, be dogs of this burgermeister anyway. Go stand over there and wait for the man to come outside for the catch an axe to add. <laughs> I see, so you have chosen death. <laughs> uh, Hendrik, you, if, maybe if this not take, the best choice. If they take a step forward, as in to try and harass uh, oh, Hendrik yeah, or anything, I'm going to cast a spell on them. Yeah, you can You can see that they're, they're all preparing. Uh, one of them have already run into the house and oh, into the mansion. And you can hear they're all already starting to return. Yeah, what spell are you casting, um, Barig? Uh, I will cast uh, this. Uh, uh, forget the six fire. I am going to cast it here. For those oh, five actually... there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is the range? Oh, no. Ten feet. Ten feet. Um, and this is, what's this called again? 10 feet radius. Ah, reverse gravity. Well, that's going to be fun. All right. Oh, dear. And does how long does... fire damage? No, does... It does... What does it do, fire damage? Does it do fire damage? Uh, it's... No, no, it's because I had the... Um, oh, uh, the smite up. on in the damage modifier, but oh. it doesn't actually deal... Uh, <laughs> yeah, what does it say? That's a weird... Just a 14 from force. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Right, um, uh, excellent. I guess this is gonna be fun. I guess. 
<laughs> and we're off the railroad track uh-huh. now. <laughs> Rest of the campaign. <laughs> uh, just give me. Gonna tell Hendrick. Hendrick, you know that if we fight these people, the bigger master would never help us. Us fighting them fight. is gonna be bad. Uh, um, spit on the ground. They'd be like, ah, this is bulger. This bulger master can walk out to Morden for all I care. Nobody <laughs> yeah. needs fighting us like this. Yeah, these these guards are already conferring uh, amongst themselves, uh, saying a uh, ten foot radius, right? So like this, exactly. Correct. Okay. No, it's bigger oh, than that. If he does this, I'm gonna just throw my axe to one of them to the left. Is it radius or ten foot? Um, uh, let's just double check because there is a ten foot radius. A radius is like this. Yes, there we go. Yeah, so it would be five by five. A five by five. So it's yeah. um, not. The, this big. Close. Wait, no, I'm gonna give. Gonna yeah, I'm gonna give it to you, Buck. Buck, Buck, Buck. I'm gonna give you control of it. So that way, it makes it easier right. for me. I can't change sizes. You can now. Things. I can. Click on it. Okay. Uh. Yeah, but uh, I, just... I can only move. I can't change the size. Can't you make it bigger and smaller? No. Here, you know what? If you can, I will make a square, and you can expand it to that square. How about that? Yes, please. Whoa, right Whoa. here. Wow. Jeez. And I'm going to center well, it's it over ten here. 10-foot radius, right? Yeah. So you he's centering it on a block, so that goes like this. Mm, but when you measure yeah. radius, you measure from this point to that point, right? From left to right. Yeah. So that's 25 no, no, feet. No, radius is... Uh, that's diameter you're thinking of. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, the radius is from the center. And you see, that's why. Whoa, that's yeah. trippy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to give this to control to um to Bareg. Bareg, you have to show me where you want it I to be. He prob- I think he wants it here. Well, Bareg is trying control. to hit as many people as possible. Okay. So oh. like this. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. Indubitably. All right, so we'll be rolling initiative here. It's a lot of contracts. Yeah, it is. And I guess this is how the campaign ends. We go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It starts. I mean, I, I was kind of trying to keep my cool, but then uh, Hendrik was uh, getting really mad, and they took a step forward to him, saying they wanted to take him away. I I can't allow them to do that i mean you guys are not they are obliged cons- to fight yeah they, ha- they are conspiring they're conspiring to arrest you for malicious unhappiness <laughs> that is what they are currently doing because he is maliciously unhappy right outside of the burgomaster's mansion mm. and they have how dare you, the nerve had the nerve how dare you <laughs> oh this is going I'm to be i've them Right, so um, initiative for the guards. Oh no! Oh this boy! First roll that she could die. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, nice the rest of you need guys. to roll initiative for me, please. This is gonna be the second TPK that I've ever dealt with. I don't plan on dying. No more. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you need to roll I'm... initiative, yours. Yeah, you need to roll initiative, and um, also for your, um, how does your defender work? Oh, it goes right after. It goes with with my with my. Uh, on your initiative. Uh, uh, all right. On my initiative, yeah. I think it counts it as directly after his turn, but it does work on his. Initiative. Yeah, it, it works on his initiative. Mm-hmm. Is that everyone then? Although I could be completely wrong and have to double no, check. I'm that. assuming you're correct. It will be the first time. I'm gonna double check just to make sure because I feel terrible if I'm giving you misinformation. So. Good. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to need to. Okay, this was this was the guards that were on patrol. You have created a state defender that obeys your commands in combat. It takes its turn, uh, shares your initiative count, but it takes its turn immediately after yours. Ah. So. All right, so um, Barak, if you could explain or if you could describe what your what what this spell looks like in your mind while I make my constitution checks. Um, the spell wouldn't look like anything visually. You would just see um, 
uh, the ground uh, centered here around all of those uh, those guards just uh, start cracking and them being uh, drawn attracted to to it okay Two, three, four, five, six, seven. and if they it could succeed... be in it would be an invisible force which just forces yeah, it, them to the ground. It literally, it literally, it, it first lifts them up and then smashes them onto the ground. So it lifts them whichever way you want them. Um, but that's why I asked you to describe what it looks like, right? I, I know the spell, um, but I just wanted you to, to describe it to me. Okay, half damage if if they succeed. So hmm. that is uh, six damage to those. And what's your spell save DC? Is thirteen. All right. So. Yeah, uh, seven actually. It's fourteen uh, damage. Just I rolled. If they take half. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of damage when they when they when they fail. I'm just checking who was okay. There were three of them that that succeeded, and four that fails. So let's start here at the top right. Uh, this guard is going to die. Because that oh is. Oh my goodness. I'm assuming death to them <laughs> we are murdering oh, yeah. so many guards right this now. guard is going to Our... die this guard is going to die two three this guard is taking s six damage correct this guard yeah, is going uh, to no seven seven, seven. Uh, half half rounded down so 13 half rounded down is 7, yeah, correct. It's 14 though, so half is 7. That's 13. 13 force. It says 14 on my spell. It was oh, DC sorry, DC 13, DC 13, 13 yeah, yeah. 14 damage. Yes, uh, sorry, I didn't see that one. Yeah, I was okay. looking in the wrong place. And, uh, as I cast my spell and I see all of them dying, I'm just going to say calmly, all life is an abomination in the eyes of the Reaper. Three. Four. This guard is gonna die. Da -da. <laughs> this guard is gonna die. Well, no, that, sorry, that guy didn't guard didn't die, but it's gonna look very, very hurt. This one in front of you is going to die, Ujar. A brutal and painful death. And this guard is going to die. Alright. Apparently. That is the way you have chosen. <laughs> oh no. Um, is this verbal, somatic, and material correct? Or is it just... Uh, I'm going to tell you in a moment. It is uh, verbal and somatic, exactly. Verbal There's and no, somatic, uh... so they know you cast it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my yeah. point here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I guess I would hold up my holy symbol at the same time, because, you know... I don't think you actually have to use your holy symbol for non-material component spells, but yeah, that's uh, Ujar, that is that play, is your choice. What flavor. what you're doing here is entirely your choice. I don't know. Yeah, as I said, right it's now. not you, you guys' fight. <laughs> it is like, not if your you guys' fight. fight you... If you don't, if you don't, you don't want to fight. You don't fight. Um, but yeah. That is entirely up to you. The guard is going to run up to you then, Bareg. Um, I'm assuming that this does not knock them prone, or does it? Uh, it reduces their movement by half. Ah, okay. So this guard is reduced by <laughs> half. He gets to to um, Hanrik then, not Bareg. So he's going to obviously go for the target that he wanted. And this one was not never hit, so he's fine. You are under arrest for malicious. What the hell? <laughs> so you, they all say you're under arrest for malicious unhappiness, and then you f they flip up into the air, fall into the uh, ground, and say, "Get them! Get them quick!" Uh, all right, so we're gonna start with the two on you, uh, Bareg. Um, they are going to smash some spears into you because that was. Very, very brutal, and that was not enough. Uh, I'm gonna be honest; I don't know what to do here. <clears throat> yeah, that's why. That's Pardon? why. I'm, that's why I'm also like, wondering what's gonna happen here. Yeah, because uh, this is almost enough to like cause PvP right now. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't know. I don't want to do PvP, but man, it's tempting. It. Oh. I will be uh, asking none of those hit. Yeah, so sorry. The third one is on you, Barig. Uh, Handrig. 17 to hit uh, Handrig, I, I, I assume. Miss, miss. Miss, miss. Okay, miss, miss, and miss. Is that what you're saying? You have 19 AC, right? Alright. Yeah. Alright. Ujar. I'm gonna do a wisdom save, and it's gonna be with disadvantage, because he's already freaking out. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. I rolled a 16, though. Mm -hmm. So. Stay um, on that. On the bright side, he will be staying. But on mm -hmm. the bad side, he will not be fighting. He will not be fighting. I will be going over here, mm -hmm. and I will be saying. You are going to be attacked. Hendrick. You're going to get a reaction, reactionary attack from this. Um... I'll take a disengage. disengage. Uh, I'll be taking disengage. Okay, disengaging action. action. Okay. And I'll say, Hendrik, I. I. Why do you guys like killing people? Is is that what Moradin is about? Just fighting, Just... no laws, no, no, nothing no. like that. Just what it's you a, guys think? It'd be about justice. Are, it's about, not understand. He's taking us away How is this treatment? justice? How is this justice? They be arresting me because they are being happy. You are being arrested because their laws are different from your laws. Buck, I will fuck your them. Turn. That doesn't mean they're evil laws. Buck, it is your turn. That's going to be my turn. I don't yeah. even know what to do. Buck is going to just stand there completely like Mouth confused agape. and baffled, just not knowing what to do. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> I, as a player, I don't know. As as Bucky's just baffled. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Hendrik, you're up. I be smashing the first guy to the right, to the top, straight yeah, in the face. All right, go for it. Ooh! Oh, oh, I was take dead, dead. My, I was take no my head, no head from him. And, and I then my infusion from him. Okay. And, yeah. So. What? Sure. It's uh, so your your infusion does not work anymore. It's no longer a magical axe. Does it take a turn for him to do it? I he think can, so, right? No, it's magic. No. Magical no, spells. It's a free action. It's, it's a free action. action. It's like concentration mm -hmm. on a spell. You can drop it at any time. But it that's a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it still hits, and you still kill this guard. How do you want to kill this guard? Uh, I'm gonna decapitate him, and then. Uh, Pick the head up and show it to the other guys. You better run now, you weakling. All right. Uh, from inside, you can hear um, the guard that had rushed in earlier is yelling and screaming for backup. Um, backup is probably going to arrive at some point, um, but you can hear that it is still far enough away for you not to understand or hear of anything that is happening except for the movement from inside. So I'm just moving things from out here or in here. I'd be looking to the to the other two lads in the back. If you ain't helping, just leave. All right, buddy, you you're sent up. your fight. Uh, which one of those two guards looks the most uh, hurt? Right. Sorry. Yeah, I've, I've I've implemented a new system. Is green is healthy. Yellow is starting to look hurt, and oh. red is pretty, pretty hurt. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. that's that uh, makes things good. so much more convenient. I'm gonna steal that. Yeah, um, it it helps I'm a lot more, and I forget the... to do it sometimes. Oh, sorry. So yeah, this one, this one is he he's starting to look hurt, and also on death's door for your purposes of yours, because clearly you saw that that the amount of damage you dealt earlier is more than enough. Uh, I'm gonna use Toll the Dead on this guy, mm -hmm. and I will, uh, as a bonus action, use my spiritual weapon on this guy. All right. So, hmm. Toll the Dead. Eh, seven. If he doesn't succeed. All right. I need to make wisdom saving throw on the guy over there. Yeah. And on this guy, spiritual weapon. All right. So you wanna get the spiritual weapon out. So that was the hammer, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> why do you get advantage on the on the spiritual weapon? Uh, because I just didn't toggle it off, but it, it's a 14. 14, all right. Uh, that does not hit him. But this guy, obviously, the top is two. Uh, is it two or seven? Remind me. Uh, it's two if he um, if he uh, is not hurt, and it's seven if he took damage beforehand. Yeah, you know he's dead then, because he did take damage beforehand. Mm. Okay. All right. So, told the dead. What does your told the dead look like? I never thought about it. Uh, it's necrotic damage. So Arthur Arthur knows what his looks damage. like. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Told the dead can have very, very various effects, mm -hmm. but this is a dolorous um, spell that usually just um, preempts the 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 effect of some dead deep person or or your untimely death. So if it tolls mm -hmm. and you you fail your wisdom saving throw, you're dying of some some kind of disease, right? Yeah, necrotic a lot of the time is like a drain effect. So that's why uh, with my death domain cleric, I have the uh, like. He slams his staff on the ground, and there's a bell sound, and it's like life is being drawn out of them. And if they die, they kind of turn into a husk. Yeah, you've been husking people way too much. Yeah. <laughs> so what does yours look like? Uh, uh, I guess my told the dead would be, um, instead of just a tolling sound, it would be the sound of um, hammers smashing on gongs and uh, mm. making people lose their mind. And you, you would see their ears start bleeding, and the eyes start bleeding and it would just crumble. All right. To the ground. Excellent. Uh, all right. Guard number one is very, very, very much afraid. Um, he's just seen all of his friends die, but he has a duty. Jimmy, Jimmy, Johnny, James. Does he really have a duty? Not even an intimidation check, Tommy. Um, he, he's more afraid of the Burgermaster and the town, uh, the guards, guards captain than he is of you. So, really? yes. Oh, so the guy who just killed six of them yes. in a row? <laughs> okay. His extrasny is a lot more fearsome than you are. And his extrasny is on his way downstairs right now. His extrasny is in the building as we speak, running downstairs. He will be outside in about two, three rounds, and he will be dealing with whatever happens outside too. Along with a few other people that's in the home. Uh, a to hit, misses. All right, Ujar, what are you doing? Another wisdom save. Go for it. Not returning. Okay. Right. Again, this is up to you what you want to do. What Ujar feels mm -hmm. like is the best at this moment, uh, especially with a natural 20, is what Ujar will do. He does. He's not afraid, but he knows that there's something wrong here, right? He had heard the rules mm -hmm. when you walked into town. He had heard the laws of the city. Either these guardsmen are following the laws of the city, or they are constantly put under fear by someone else and just maliciously attacking is not always the best idea and perhaps that is not what Ujar wants but that is up to Ujar. Ujar is going to look at Hendrik and he's going to look at Bereg and he's going to say Ujar understand this is exactly like how Ujar was when he was kid we have one ruler and no other rules matter Justice matters not. Innocence matters not. We are only here to kill. And that is what Ujar was raised as. Ujar is going to command um, Ithereal to attack this man, and then Ujar will also shoot him. So bonus action for Ithereal to attack, mm -hmm. then Ujar will shoot him as well. With, okay. uh, um, with advantage, because, you know, pack tactic. Mm -hmm. How do I attack with him? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's, so that hit, is his that AC. Is. That hits. Okay. And then I am going to light crossbow. When he says that, I just look at him and I nod. So he takes seven uh, force damage, and then he takes nine piercing damage. He's big dead. Yeah, he's 
very big dead for sure. All right. Before he dies, mm -hmm. can uh, why uh, the way that I want would like to kill him is that uh, Ethereal will start to bite his head off, and then Ujar after he shoots him, his eyes will start looking a bit more bleak and dead. All right. Sure. Mm. Certainly. Buck, what are you up to? Um, Buck is just going to fix the rest of the group with a look of uh, betrayal mm -hmm. and distrust, and he just turns into a raven and flies off. All right. Excellent. You are not in this battle. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the map, but of course, if you want to see the map, you know where to look for it. Mm -hmm. um, Hundrig. You can hear from inside there are noises of people screaming and yelling, um, trying to figure out what's going on, guards talking to each other, uh, dogs barking, uh, various voices just saying a lot of things. All right, I want to be getting out of the open, so I want to kick in the door. Okay, so you want to kick in the door. Yeah. Okay. Kick in the door, wave in the four four. All you make heard me... was Papa, don't hit me no more. Make me a strength check or attack the door. Doors, do you have ACs? That is. <laughs> this is a wooden door. Let me see what this door is actually made. Uh, da, 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 entrance hallway. Do, 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 do. Object is C. Uh, that is not enough to hit in the door. Yeah. Can I open it? <laughs> is it magically open? It is not magically open, no. The maid had to lock and unlock the door, so no. This is a Burgermaster's mansion. The maid opens it for a reason. I, if I can't kick in and uh, the lock doesn't work, I want to make a charge, like a run to it. Well, you've used your action to try and kick open the door. You can use your movement again. Then I stand just out of the corner of the door. Okay. Um, the door has been knocked open, so that is an interesting sign. Barig, you're up. I'm going to turn to Uja, and I'm going to say, sorry for all the distrust, lad. I can see you're one of us. You're my brother. And uh, I'm going to ready an action. As soon as I see um, someone hostile coming in, I will uh, use Tolzer that on them. All right. Like I said, I've got two more turns before I can go outside. There's still fighting going on inside. Uh, I will be taking the guards off of the initiative here. Ujar, what are you doing? One more uh, wisdom save. One more wisdom save. It's going to be the last one. Mm hmm. I shouldn't have talked okay. to him. I scared him. <laughs> scared him. Mm -hmm. Can you go back to me? Yeah. Uh, I'll come back to you, right? Um, are you, you, do you want to stand this turn? Um, Handrig, you're yeah. up. The door is open, right? No. You've, you kicked at the door. You realized it was locked. Um, you stood out of the uh, way for your brother to try and go and open the door. He never opened the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again. All right, go for it. A wood has an AC. This is a medium object, so you have to. Uh, that that will hit. Ethics? It should be a attack actually, but sure that hits. Um, so, um, can, you, can you roll me a D20 plus your strength modifier, please? Again. To deal, uh, roll, roll me a d20 plus your strength modifier. Oh, sorry, what is it now? No, no, what is your strength modifier? That's the question I, I'm asking, actually. It's four. Oh. Four. All right. So that right. is five that. damage. That's five damage you're dealing to the door. You can see splinters coming off from the door. Um, it is locked for the moment, but you can hear people are pushing at it from the other side. And someone is giving orders. 
All right, I'm uh, going to stand out of the way. All right. Uh, Actually, yeah, one more turn. Sorry, I will stand in front of the door. All right. Yeah, one more turn. Yeah, one more. Open. Yeah, that's good. Nice block. Um, unfortunately, no. Um, everything is visible, including my stuff. Unless you go GM slash GM roll. You can see if that works. Barig. Uh, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to hold an action again. Uh, Tell the dead. The first guy I see, I will uh, I will use a spell on. All right. Sure. That will be next turn. Ujar. Okay. Another wisdom save. Yes, please. So GM roll if you want to, but then you have to do it manually. Three. Three. All right, you need to whisper to me what you're doing for this round. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's I, it. That's uh, my that's, turn. That's your turn. All right, Hanrig. The AC you're looking for here is a 15 if you're attacking a door, and the damage you need to deal to a door that is medium sized is 18 in one shot to be able to op break it open. Otherwise, you're not going to be oh, able to break and open a door. I'm going to hold an action and throw a... No, I... wrong. I slash with my battle axe anything that comes through. All right, sure. So as you uh, as the door is uh, opened, you see this large, bold man, uh, large, much larger than you are, um, with a very, very big battle axe in his hands. And... Um, this is surprised, obviously, to see you, so you go and get your attack of opportunity. Um, but he has this brutal-looking hand. It looks like it's uh, red-scaled, and it's got these these um, uh, large talons to it. Uh, and on, on one hand, the rest of it, him is human, but he's already released this part of his hand. So you get an attack of opportunity on him. I don't see anything. No, yeah, I was giving you a description. Now you should be able to see him at least. Uh, he looks he looks so not evil. <laughs> so not evil at all, no. Um behind him nice behind him you can hear the burgomaster is yelling things and uh, the dogs are also um sort of on the, the steps um yelling and barking. There are other people in the store uh, getting their weapons and armor ready. There is this blonde man in the distance and a, a, a woman with auburn hair as well. On her side, she's also pulling a long sword out, getting ready to fight. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, so that so do I actually see uh, someone um, from where I am? Uh, you will see this person at the, uh, the, the front door. He was obviously there. Uh, I was asking for um, the, the my held yeah. action. Yeah, you will see. That's why I'm waiting for the held actions. Yeah. Uh, it's here. All right, so I'm sure if he's full HP. Yeah, it was, yeah, he's obviously full HP because the battle axe misses. Yeah. Right, so seven. Uh, three, damage. three damage. All right. Uh huh. Uh, I'm going to roll initiative for the rest of the people in here as well. They've not been holding their actions because they've been arguing about things going on, but they are getting ready for their initiative. So we've got him. We've got him. Ooh, wow. Uh, we've got her. And we also have him. All right. Uh, but it is our guy that has opened the door. Uh, so he'd open the door, try to get ready. He sees you immediately um, standing outside, having gotten ready to kill various people in this town. He yells out to, the, to Vargas, We're under attack! He's going to try and hit you, um, Handrig, with his uh, battle axe two-handed. And he's got multi-attack. All right. 15 to hit. Misses. All right, second one. 
14 to hit. Today he's having a bad day. Bad day. Sorry? A boat miss. Boat mm. miss. Obviously. All right, so he's going to move out of the way. Uh, you get an attack of opportunity. All right. Let's move him to about here. <laughs> it misses. Oof. All right, she's going to move in. Uh, she, You can see she looks pretty afraid. Um, she doesn't understand what's going on. And uh, looks to her brother and... And say, well, I guess we have to protect this town. If we are to be living here to be safely, we have to protect it. Get out of the way, woman. She's gonna it's run. The up to you. Yeah, she's gonna run up to you, and she's going to hit you with her rapier. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Yes. Yes. All right. Lock it with my. Right. Barig, you're up. Okay. okay. Uh, right. yeah, mm -hmm. Come out. Uh, uh, the door is open, right? The door is open. Yes. The, the Isaac Isaac opened the door. Unfortunately, no. Um, yeah, can, I'm useless at gaming. That's why I'm asking. What? That's weird. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what bothered me earlier. Like, oh, I, I think it was inside. So I was wondering. So I think what is happening, obviously, is restricted movement is probably on. Let's see, is it better now? Uh, no, it's still uh, completely pitch dark inside. All right, I'm I going think to... maybe you didn't give us permission for the door to see through it. Dynamic lighting is switched on. Um, only update on drop drop is switched on. I will switch dynamic lighting off, so this should be better. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah, I see everything inside. Now you should be able to see much better. Uh. Oh man! No, you obviously I don't seeing a lot. Not some people. Obviously, you're seeing a lot more uh, about what's going on in here than anywhere else. Yeah, you don't want to hit innocent people, okay? So, who do you want to hit? <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to assess the situation because I couldn't see what was inside, and now I do. And uh... now you do, yeah. <laughs> Now you do what is see, do you see what's inside? Uh, I mean, would, we know, would we know they are civilians though? You do will know just you, a... you will know you can see the maid from earlier. You can see there are dogs here. You can see this woman here is in breast is in, in half plate armor. Um sorry, breastplate armor, and she is currently trying to defend uh, all the people inside. And the blonde man has also got uh, splint mail armor, and he's also got a long sword and a uh, crossbow at the ready. Okay. Uh, I'm they gonna seem move to be ready spiritual... to fight. I'm going to move my spiritual weapon uh, to her side. Right, All right. here. Mm -hmm. uh, Over there. Oh, that's a nat one. That's a yeah. nat one. Wow. Bad rolls today. And Bad rolls. You saw the dead on him. On, on him. The big boy. Yeah. All right. Wisdom save. That's eight damage. He's not very wise. No, he's not very wise. <laughs> That's why he's captain of the guard. He shouldn't be wise. <laughs> That's my turn. End of turn. Oh, that that, that kind of hurts my security uh, feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the truth, though. All right. Oh, All right. Oh, Let's see. Vargas is yelling at us. Ah! They've come. They've been sent by the devil himself. Run, run, you fools, run. He's just... The devil, the only devil's be here is you. Why? What have I done? I'm just trying to keep everyone happy. I'm just trying to keep everything safe. Why are you here? Ujar, you're right. Get out, man. Sorry, let me just read what Ujar was saying earlier. Do you want to make one more roll? I already did it. I did it, uh... Uh, uh, I did it in a different website. Oh, right. So that I wouldn't waste the time uh, doing the rolls. Um, and I did them out. If you have them to make sure that this is gonna, that this is more, that this isn't just me doing something that I want to, but something that, because like I said, it can make sense either way. And uh, the way that it seemed to have gone is that Ujar All right. is yep. going to do look very disappointingly. 
and run away. All right, he's running away, and he's taking his friend with him as well. Yeah. But before he runs, he will say, "This isn't what Mrs. Mor Mistress Morwen would want. You guys fight for justice, but that justice is corrupted and self-serving. You guys you are guys as evil, if not more than Strahd." And then he's gonna run away. Yeah, better run away than your weakling. All right, we have some mastiffs. One mastiff can make it in to here. So they're gonna try and bite. Uh, let's roll a d4. Henrik and Barig. Uh, Henrik, uh, you are number one. Barig, you are number. Oh, sorry, one and two. Barig, you are three and four. Uh, Henrik. All right. So they are biting. Well, that one's a, a big, big natural twenty. Oof. Please Ooh, make me yeah. a strength saving throw. Ooh, who? Me or him? You. You. Mm, Ooh, nice. I can do this. Yeah, you were not knocked prone by this dog. The other dogs can't get I to can't you, can't so can't. that's unfortunate. All right, Hundred, you're up. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, Dogos. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm gonna attack the Mastiff in front of me. All right. Mm, let's see. Actually, Boom. your rolls today. He yeah, is very low today. That is does not hit the Mastiff. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to heal already? I do not. Let me see. I'm gonna unwavering mark the lady. The lady, alright. Unwavering mark her. Yeah. So what does that do? If she attacks Beric, then I get an extra attack the turn, and it will be on disadvantage if she attacks Beric and not me. Oh, okay. Uh, she was attacking Beric earlier, so she's most likely gonna attack him again. That's my train of thought, yes. And I am my third. Right, so she will have disadvantage on attacking Barry, you say? Yes. Uh, when you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, you can mark the creature until the end of your next turn. You have not hit a creature with a melee attack yet. So does not that so, that's not unwavering. That's how unwavering mark works. Yes. You haven't hit anything, so you can't you can't mark them. Mark. Them. Oh, sorry. Yes, I forgot about that. Yes, yeah. So, my bad. So, anything else you're doing? No, no, uh, that was it. All right, that was it. All right. So, Ismark is going to. Um, uh, he's not. Sh oh, he's. Um, who who tried to attack? Oh, it was you. Yeah. Um, Butter, you tried to attack the woman, right? So yeah. this blond yeah. blonde head man is going to uh, yell at sister, why have you run forward? Come back quickly. And he's pulls out this large crossbow. Jeez, that's a very heavy crossbow, but oh well. Um, he's going to shoot at you. Mm, I'm just making 1, sure. 1,000 pounds draw weight. <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy, heavy crossbow. All right, so uh, seven to hit, misses. Irina, quickly, come back, please. Oh, it's Sam. Yes. Yeah, you didn't notice, is, is, you didn't notice like... it was them. <laughs> no, I didn't actually notice. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so um, this man here is going to. Um, you've been you've been tolling some some bells at his head and he's uh, although he doesn't is it verbal somatic or material? Uh, let me look. Um, it is verbal and somatic. All right, so he knows that you are the one that that least cast the things, even though if he's stupid. Mm -hmm. Right, you see him lift his hand up, and this flame just starts producing in his hand, and he s hurls this part this flame over and around towards you. 15 to hits. Does not hit. All right. 
18 AC. 18 AC. He's still going to rush forward, I guess, and um, try and get in kind of some kind of position to attack. Um, yeah, there we go. Irina, realizing that she's very, very weak, is going to take the disengage action. And she's going to run back to her brother. I wouldn't have uh, hit her anyway. Why? I wouldn't have tried. You tried to hit her earlier? Because a woman and uh, you, very, you very to, traditional. Yeah. You tried to hit her earlier. Why would you not try and hit her now? That, mm -hmm. I think, Because is... she's running away. How dare she was attacking my brother? It was oh. different. She's still going to attack. She's just trying to get advantage on something here. On what a alive. bitch! Yeah, of course she's going to attack. You entered into someone's mansion and you yelled, kill the Burgermaster. She's here to speak to I the didn't. Burgermaster about other things. <laughs> you... I, I'm, I'm honestly just going along with Hendrik. Yeah, you're honestly going along with Hendrik, and that is what I call metagaming. How? Um, you, what, what on earth made you think that Baron Vargas Velakovich was at all um, evil? What hints uh, as that I, I said, throw I'm, out. I'm, I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking to, I'm talking uh... to your fr brother of your Henrik, not you. So, Badek, what are you doing? Sorry, I, I, I'm still deciding where she is, but I think she's gonna run that way to keep herself alive. What am I doing? Um, I will bonus action spiritual weapon on the, on the mm -hmm. big boy here and sure. uh, toll some more bells. Tolling bells. Ooh. Wait, was that a question to me or to uh, both Barak? of you? I don't both of you. But I was talking to Barak in the first place. Was the mistake? Ooh, finally, natural twenty. He's starting to learn his things. Um, and was twenty two hit with the spiritual weapon, right? Yeah. That exactly. will definitely hit. It's nine force damage. All right. Uh, let's see, Force 93, save changes. All right, uh, Vargas is yelling out for more guards. He's hoping that he will find more guards somewhere. But right now there isn't. But he is gonna run towards the back door here. Um, because he's definitely not interested in staying in this scene. Ah, then we have the best Mastiffs. Ah, the Mastiffs are going to be a problem for Isaac. Isaac is trying to get in to there, and he couldn't. Um, actually, let me see. Yep, which is five feet. All right, so one Mastiff on you, Hundrig. Fourteen to hit. No, it doesn't hit, right? No, it doesn't hit. Right. Very misses. 18 to hit. Also misses. What's your AC? 19. 19. 19. Wow. All right, Henrik. All right, uh, the master's in front of me. I'm going to hit it. Well, well attempt. I've not been very lucky so far. That will hit. What are you trying to hit here? Uh, as I said, the Mastiff in front of me. Oh, a Mastiff in front of you. Sorry, I didn't hear. I was looking at something else. Alright, that hits. It kills the dog. Very, very much so. Alright. Uh, anything else you're doing, Hanrig? Um, no, I'm blocking this hallway. Oh, so you're running inside, or you're blocking that that section that, there? That section. No, I'm blocking outside with the railing. I'm blocking outside. All right, sure. All right, so Ismark is going to shoot with his heavy crossbow again. Who was he shooting earlier? I forgot. Earlier. Me, 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 me. Shoot me again. All right, shoot you again. I, I be shouting, again. "Come over here, shoot your damn thing!" He definitely needs to get closer at some point, but right now he 
Oof, uh, that damage though. Yeah. If it hits. Is and did you want your time? answer? On why I would think it is evil? Yes, please. Tell me what made Tell you me. think Bog uh, Baron Vargas for Lakovich was evil. I, I didn't. Nothing actually. Nothing actually. Then why Nothing did you start? Right? So I why mean, did you? So so my question here is why did you approach the mansion and start yelling uh, when you got angry you that got made them enter it, into the mansion? You said you exactly said you hear a lot of people outside arguing about what's going on and they want to rush inside and you said that guards were yelling so, about so. get master east track whatever and they were they wanted to go inside to get another no no, no i'm talking guy. i'm talking about way before this before you even got the attention of the guards from outside when the maid said oh you have to make an appointment uh, to speak with the with the baron you got very very pissed off <laughs> Then the guards came right. to you and said, I got pissed off because she let me wait. Hmm. I got pissed off because she let me wait. And then the guards, they came to me and they tried to arrest me. And then I told them oh, a few man, times, she better not touch me. And then they they tried to touch me and then my brother attacked. It's yes, logical. Yeah. yeah, so I reminded you yesterday or last week, the rules in this place is always be happy. Um, I know. Uh, I, I'm not judging you. I mean, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm I'm trying to react about how I would react if somebody would yeah, falsely try to uh, arrest me. Uh, yelling, oh, you're an evil burgomaster, you man from the outside. That's a bit harsh, I think. But... I didn't yell. I just said I was raging. Okay. Uh, Ismark's turn is finished. Isaac is finally able to get closer. Um... And he's got his battle axe two handed once more. 12 to hit. That is you, um, Barig, uh, Henrik, because you're the one that's that's causing a lot of these issues. 17 to hit. Apparently, I'm not rolling well either today. <laughs> <laughs> right, Irina, what is Irina going to do? Irina doesn't have any ranged weapons, but she will still try and protect. Uh, what she can so she will run up to here and she will wait for her brother i think arena is actually i need to make a wisdom save for arena because she's not that actually I need to make insight she does not know anything about battle so she wouldn't be, she wouldn't think about these things so she's gonna rush behind this dog over here barrack you're up okay Time to bring the big guns. So I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, slam into this guy again. I think I've got right enough movement. It's 20 feet. Yeah. So move it and smash it into him. Oh, the, oh, the, fuck. the, the spiritual weapon. Right, let me give you control of yeah. that. Because I'm going to give you control will, of that. I will expand my uh, last second level spell, heat metal, and use it on... Uh, Town guard captain. All right, big boy. Big boy. Uh, heat metal. This here. What does heat metal do again? I'm gonna give you a spell card. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Output spell card. But I see. I have to make a constitution. Yeah. Constitution save. Yeah, works. I, I will uh, choose his um, his armor. I guess he's got, he's uh, wearing he's, one. He's got studded metal, leather armor, right? Oh, no. I will use it on his weapon then. Yeah, he's got a battle axe. That, that is the only thing you can meet here. Uh, okay. oh, how I wish I had resistance to metal. How I wish that that is the one thing about the demonic blood that is running through me gives me resistance to metal. Sad life. Sad life. All right, uh, so a manufactured yeah. metal object such as metal weapon. All right, so that is burning in my hands. For uh, is this concentration? This is concentration. Yeah. All right. Save changes. Excellent. He's still standing. He's still fine. He doesn't seem to be perturbed too much by the fact that his hands are burning. He's used to having his hands burnt, especially the one with the flame already coming off of it. Anything else you're doing, Bad Egg? Uh, no, no, it's my turn. 
Uh, but he has disadvantage uh, if he attacks with the, the weapon, if he doesn't succeed on the the con saving throw. Oh, well, he didn't. But does he have to do it again at each turn? Uh, if a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes the damage from it, the creature must succeed on a con saving throw or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the right. start of your next turn. So I'll make an inside check for him to realize that the weapon is... So I guess I have turn. to use my... Wait... I, I have to use my bonus action to repeat the damage on him. And if he fails every time, he gets the disadvantage. So he would get it on his next turn for now, if he doesn't drop the, the axe. Yep, it, uh, that's why I say I'll make an inside check for him to realize. Yeah. Alright, uh, Vargas is also left to go search for more guards to arrest you. I think they're gonna do more than arrest us. <laughs> oh yeah, there's gonna a oh, lot yeah. of oh, things gonna happen. Oh man, this massive camp. I love this place. <laughs> Alright, the Mastiff I've misses. never been here actually. Hundred. Oh, I'm definitely smashing the guy in front of me. All right, go for it. Let me guess, doesn't hit. No, that does not hit. Actually, that does. That's uh, his AC. That... Yes, he's got it does. He's got studded leather armor. His AC is not that high. He did it. <laughs> Ten. Let's go. Ten slashing. All right. You still have action search? I do. Okay, cool. Just keeping it. How does he look? He's still looking fine. Just to be sure, I'm gonna. Ah, it's kind of waste. No, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna wavering mark him as well. All right. So this time it is going to work because obviously you hit him. All right. So remind All me right, what this so... is. Uh, if he attacks, he's gonna attack with this defense oh. anyway, because of the weapon. But if he attacks, oh. if he drops it and he considers to attack Barrack, then uh, I get an extra attack and he attacks with disadvantage on Barrack no matter what. Yeah, well, he's attacking, apparently attacking you at the moment, uh, because you're the one that's making the most noise. But first, it is Ismark who is going to heavy crossbow you. 19 to hit. Ooh, straight to the armor. Yeah, in straight chest. to the, in the chest. 10. Mm -hmm. Alright, Izek is going to try and knock you out as well. Uh, you, uh, Henrik, because again, you're the. That's a 9. That's a 9. This is. 11. Hey, I'm blocking them all with my shields. Actually, yeah, I should have made my wisdom wisdom check or intelligence check, whatever it is. Ah, all right. Now he realizes that he has to drop his weapon. So once again, he drops his weapon, and you get attack of opportunity as he's going to move away. He still gets okay. the damage right from the heat metal. He got it harder, yeah. Yeah, I got it. I got it earlier, yeah. Uh, boom. I luckily do not need to attack with Hurl of Flame. Oh, that just hits. Yeah, that just hits. All right, eight plus seven. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think now he's starting to look hurt. Fifteen damage. Minus eight and minus seven. Yeah, now he's starting to look hurt. Yeah, he must be pretty beefy. <laughs> yeah, he's a guard captain. <laughs> All right, like I said earlier, Irina is, does not know anything about battle, so she sees an attack of opportunity or a way to get in here. Do we see that, that she's really unexperienced? Oh yeah, you can certainly see that she's very unexperienced. Um, she's got this breastplate on, she's got this rapier on, um, but she tries to slash at you and is very, very effective in slashing at you. I will grab the rapier. All right, make me a strength check. Oh, can not let me? Okay, I didn't expect that. I'm sorry. Mm, all right. Uh huh. I don't think I'm going to be able to succeed there. Nope. You have her weapon. Get away from this fight. 
you but you you threatened the burgomaster why would you do that I the burgomaster your guards be having me fall off for no reason for being happy this filthy place and I spit on the ground that is no way to treat royalty though Barry, you're up Aye. you can buggers with your royalty uh I'm gonna. Uh, I guess I will just fuck his dog. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. gonna move my spiritual weapon uh, to to the doggo, and I'm gonna hit it nearly. All right, that will definitely this. hit the doggo and kill the doggo. And this. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, that kills him. The, the first hit. You attack with both, so both of those do kill him. Okay. Okay. So it's uh yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's my turn. Because remember, you ha you have to you have to either wait for me to answer or you do what you just did is roll twice and you don't know what the what the answer is. But that's why you split up your okay. attacks. Um, that's why you don't just roll. Uh, you have movement. Mm, yeah, but I'm just gonna stay here. All right. A mastiffs are dead. Henrik, you're up. I'm gonna non lethally slam her across the head in my uh, Warhammer with the okay. side. Go for it. That hits. Non lethal, by yeah. the way. <laughs> I heard the non lethal. <laughs> yeah. She's still alive. She, she's got a big knock on her head, along with all of the bite marks over her neck. And um, as you hit her, you see that there are two bite, clear bite marks over her head. As her hair disappears in the uh, yeah, when we she's don't knocked. Know fires are yet, right? Sorry, we don't, well, you don't know. I think any, we don't know. Don't, yeah. yeah, you don't know any of this history. You have not met them at all. I was going to introduce them in this in this session. That's why they're here. That's why they're. Ah. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. It's what? not coincidence that they're here. Is there was a reason why they were going to the burgomaster's mansion? I had a Morgan. whole other en encounter in planned. Um, I was going to have you go to the Burgomaster's mansion, hear that they that they are speaking with the Burgomaster in here while you have a meeting with him. Then later on, Isaac Strasny was going to come into your, your room and try and push you out of there with force, either you or Ujar, it doesn't matter which room it was. And then they were, you would have learned about Ismark and Irina. But now you're learning about them in a different way, I guess. It's also fine. Yeah, it's also fine. We'll see what happens. As Ismark is As going to um, wait, wait, wait. is going to run up. He's going. He's going to wait, throw. Wasn't going done. To... Oh, your turn wasn't done. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? I um, pop my ears open. Uh, sorry, and uh, my eyes start bleeding a little bit. And Edwin rushes in my face and second wind. All right. Go for it. 1d10 plus 3. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And as I use seven, not too bad. wounds close, and then I end my turn. All right, you end your turn. All right, so Ismark is going to run up uh, trying to protect his sister. He's going to hand her a short sword so that she has something to hit with. I'm still going to use the rapier um, ability for her. And he's going to attack... Um, who uh, he's been shooting? Uh, it's still, it's been Hanrik the whole time. So I'm, I'm focusing my energy on Hanrik here. Right. So one long sword, two-handed, fifteen to hit. Fifteen to hit. Natural catch blade. blade. Ooh, natural one. Natural one. I catch the blade, blade and I block it. Mid movements. Isaac is going to yeah. hurl flame at you. Oh. Don't you run now, pussy! Nope, he's not definitely run, not running. My heart, please don't crit. <laughs> that would have one shot me. Yeah, that would have one shot you. Oof, they're all missing really, really badly here. Barrick, what are you doing? Yeah, Barrick, what are you doing? Good. Good. Um, I'm gonna try to. Um, if if I try to speak with uh, with this guy, is is it gonna use my whole action? I, I just want to talking, say a few words to him. Talking is a free action. You can always talk. 
Okay. So I'm going to raise my hammer to him. I'm going to tell him, uh, take your sister and get out of here. All fight is not with you. Persuasion check with disadvantage. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, what you heard was, we're going to kill you all. He is, um, you can see his fighting style is definitely not like his sister. He is um, a veteran of very, very many wars. And having heard and seen you at the front entrance of someone um, who is in charge of town's entrance, killing the guardsmen of a town, sort of has already put you at a wrong position. All right, Buck, see you later. Thank you so much for staying and listening. Uh, we'll have a discussion well, later about what's, what is happening. Yeah. Um, but I, I, you can gonna... see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go for him then. All right, take care, guys. Cheers, Buck. Um, see you, dude. Um, same for you, um, Ujar, if you want to if you want to leave for the moment, because this is going to take a while, clearly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go. Bye, right. guys. Cheers, Ujar. Bye. Thank you for staying. <laughs> Salty. Uh, mm, not salty. We'll have a discussion about it afterwards. I can't obviously discuss this during stream time. Barrick. I'm gonna be a um, spiritual weapon onto him, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna hit him with my melee weapon. Well, that does not hit him. Shit. That does not hit yeah, him either. Don't hit, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Henrik, you're up. I'm gonna non lethally slam the woman on her head. Alright, sure. That hits. She's unconscious. You better take her out right now! Or what? Or... You're gonna kill me too? You're gonna... I mean, Persuasion check with this sister. She's knocked out, so she can't respond back. You're, you're, no, no, you're, to you're, yeah, you're talking brother. to the brother. Yeah, that's why I'm saying he's asking you, or what? You're gonna kill me too. Uh, sorry, what did you want me to roll? A persuasion with disadvantage. One more. Ooh, wrong one. One sec. Oh yeah, that's a perception. Mm -hmm. Ten. Oh, ten. Oh, make an inside check. Yep. He still thinks you are a massive threat. Uh, it's, it's wisdom for inside. Ah, sorry. Wisdom. <clears throat> Same roll. Well, natural twenty. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Tell us what you want and why you're here. Uh, you'll be asking that now before the, all your town members uh, arrest me. I am not from this town. I am from another town. Tell me what you want. I am a burgomaster too. If you're threatening one yeah, burgomaster, you're threatening me. Threatening? We'll be asking you for work. And then this woman let me wait. And all I, I go have... on to a rent outside. All I heard was you yelling, no, you kill, kill the burgomaster. I did not yell this. I don't know what you've been hearing, but I've been ranting outside. Just All right. Are we angry. That I I'm going to stop the stream right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, see you next time. And then you and, I, you and I will be discussing what happened here. As there is clearly miscommunication going on here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment and a like. We will see what ha how to resolve this next week. Um, hope you stay tuned.